side of this Stanford line. Got to get get that get it ironed out. You're moving the football, but having to overcome pre-snap penalties. So second down and 19 to begin the quarter. Daniels quick throw to the sideline, and that is CC. It's a chunk back. It sets up third and far more manageable. Boy, they get just enough production out of CC and Bachmeyer. The playmaking ability of Tiger Bachmeyer. And if you will find that when you get down here towards the red zone, it, it creates one-on-ones for the big play receiver. CC through two plus games has 13 catches now. Tops on the team. No matter in the slot. Forward motions out. Urban in the block. Daniels looking for help to the end zone. Knocked away by Lewis. But when fourth down, he should have just thrown that away. Well, he had CC when he turned up the field. And I thought he was going to let it let it go early. Either he catches it or no one catches it. You put it in a spot where it's either the receiver can come up with it or it goes out of bounds. But uh, he elected to hold on to it a little bit too long. And the rush closed in on him, bringing up a field goal attempt here for, for Stanford. Emmett Kenny, a senior, but in his first year as the place kicker, four for four entering today, did not attempt a field goal prior to this season, a 38-yarder. And Kenny gives Stanford a 10-0 lead, a strong start for the Cardinal on the road this season. For sure, especially on the offensive side. Where they had trouble with Georgia Tech was defending the run game and uh, able to fix that and ride that into a win. But they're going to have to start scoring some points here. This is a very, very important drive because you can't give Stanford the ball back again and have them go down and score. Malachi James will stay put. Triple header Saturday on ABC. It's Tennessee. Man, can they put points on the board. But Quint Allen ambushed in the backfield for a loss. Just can't seem to find creases. And that's going to come with completions down the field. All of a sudden, that front seven will soften a little bit. And I think Syracuse will be able to run the football. But with the receivers out, it's kind of, it's it's been... It's been a little hard for Kyle McCord to get this passing game started. Ten plays, 25 yards for Syracuse. McCord hit from the backside, lost the football. It's out. Stanford looks to have covered it up. No, Syracuse got it. Now they had two white jerseys there, and the ball got tipped out somehow. When they allow him to just pin his ears back and be a rusher boy is he a force now they feel he's got a chance to be yes. really good consistency has held him back and now it's third and 21 for Syracuse Stanford drops seven screen pass to Allen zigzagging his way out to the 25 yard line it sets up fourth down and Stanford defense strong here on the road yeah guys have got to start stepping up making plays Clark mentions he Haynes. He's out of the out of the lineup tonight. He's just going to present some opportunities for some younger players, and they've got to start making some plays for Kyle McCord, their quarterback. Stanford's D has held Syracuse to 19 yards on 12 plays. Bachmeyer brought down shy of the 25-yard line after a 57-yard punt by Stonehouse. Ewers comes. He's ready to play. You go back with yours. In the flat to the tight end, Roush is torpedoed by Elijah Clark. They call him Cinco. Second on the team in tackles. He leads them in solo tackles. And you see why. He is not afraid to come up from his safety spot and strike. Very aggressive player on the back end. I think he's got a future on Sundays as well. It's a guy highlighted and really, really liked watching on, on video. I'm trying to get out of the habit of saying film. Film is outdated. Film, we don't watch film anymore. No, I know it's a turn. Intercepted by Devin Grant, who led the Mac with five picks. 
for Buffalo last year. He read the screen all the way. I tell you what, did he break on the football or what? What a play. And then laying out to come up with the interception. And telling his, his head coach, Brand Brown, I got you. Cornest field position of the night. Quint Allen is the running back. McCord to throw. Out route, Trevor Pena. Spin cycle. First down, Syracuse. Well, we were just talking about Pena. Where is he? They need guys to start making plays and step up in the absence of Ames. Gadsden, got to get him going. The big tight end. And checking in for Syracuse, the freshman from Newark. Nicknamed to train the yeah, Sin Willis. He's a big bruiser of a running back. Number 23 in blue and orange. One of the officials fell down. He says he's okay. Thumbs up. Turf monster. Crowd laughed. <laughs> Glad he's okay. Off a high snap. McCord chased and has to kill it. Tristan Sinclair, he and Guythan Bernadell, the two linebackers, they are the heartbeat of this Stanford defense. And they make plays. Both can play sideline to sideline, and Sinclair was quickly closing in on McCord. So they, they wanted to run a little slip underneath and get the, the back to the flat. They read it perfectly, they being Stanford. And they just kind of confused, muddied the water, so to speak. Nothing was there, and the smart thing to do is throw it away, Come back on second down. Split household for Sinclair. He and dad, Stanford guys, mom, sister, and his aunts all went to Cal. And this is where, where Pena usually shows up big. Allen looking for the edge. Can't get there. Colin Wright, the corner, came up to make the play. I don't know that. And Pena in the slot. Justice Ross Simmons, the Colorado State transfer, lined up at the bottom of your screen. Well, it is man across the board right here. McCord floats it to the end zone for Pena. Incomplete. He was covered by Jay Green. And it's the pressure of David Bailey on Kyle McCord. Didn't have the luxury of reading it out. Bailey's in his face. I mean, quickly. Now they feel Bailey's their most talented pass rusher. Again, they want him to just be a little more consistent. And you know, they told us he's going to play on a lot of these third downs that are passing downs. Pinned his ears back. Rushed McCord. Field goal attempt is good by Brady Denneberg from 30. And gets Syracuse on the board off the interception by Devin Grant. Skythan Bernadelle, the linebacker, had a special teacher. Down and flung effect on this young man. I spoke to him this week. He can light up a room, man. Excellent all-conference player on the field. 4-0 student off the field. Davis ankle tackled from behind by James Hurd. And Bernadelle also has the distinction of being the first yeah. undergraduate transfer for Stanford in the portal era. That's saying something. It's just, it is not easy to get into Stanford. That's why we, you talked about it at the top. You don't see a lot of transfers on this Stanford roster. Him being the first mid-year mid transfer. But uh, he loves football. He can locate it and make plays. Now, some of the guys you see who transferred from Princeton, from Yale, yeah, flag down. Now they're, they're finally, I think, going to get Syracuse on this jumping stuff. Isaiah Hastings is the guy that's doing it. He's almost flinching and stemming, and it's at the right before the ball is snapped. So that game, the movement on common to the game, defense number 88. Yeah. Five yard penalty, second down. Let's bring in our rules expert, Matt Austin. Matt, that is a big point of emphasis this year. Yeah, you're exactly right, Anish. The, the NCAA, they just want both teams to line up and play football. Forget this all, these quick shifts, these quick stems, the hand movements. Just line up and play football. And Syracuse got away with it a couple times earlier, in my opinion. This time they got caught. 
Hastings. Watson is another that you could have called the same penalty on. CC the motion man. Instead, a handoff, and there's Ford. He's going to bring up third and about three. You saw him have the touchdown catch that was brought back because of a holding penalty. He's made a nice transition to running quarterback where he played in high school. And he was mostly a runner in high school, but he has made the switch, and uh, they have, as a true freshman, kind of hard to do. But they believe in him, and they keep feeding him the football. subbing late so they've got to give Syracuse a chance to sub play clock down to one they just get it off Daniels throw it's caught by CC and a first down for the Cardinal well, CC's having some game isn't he you know with all the eyes pun intended on Kyle Manor that uh, it's allowing some others to make plays in the passing game and it's been CC it's quick good route runner He's caught a touchdown pass in both games prior to tonight. One against TCU and a, another against Cal Poly. Four catches tonight. In pocket, Daniels taking a lot of time and now devoured by Dennis Jacquez. Is a good solid edge player for New Jersey. They don't ask quarterbacks to block much. <laughs> Unless you switch positions, obviously. Not even in the wing team. And, well, in that offense, you will. A flag at the end of the play. Only right in the middle of the formation. It's going to be a Look a hold against Stanford again. And you get the sack yardage. Holding. Offense number 57. 10 yard penalty. Repeat second down. So he's gonna play. Fred Brown's gonna play the field position. That'll take him, take him back. And it's just all across the board where the holes are coming from and it's the, the two young players house and Malenko are holding up well it's the guys in the middle of the offensive line that are having the problems Daniels screen pass CC engulfed another loss negative yards on the play third and long Devin Grant is holding on for dear life Plays early in this drive, successful for Stanford, and then the sack and a couple and a penalty, another lost yardage play there, and they are all the way back inside their own 20 yard line. They keep it on the ground to Ford. That was essentially a surrender live to play another series remember last time they threw the pick yeah. fourth down didn't want to give Syracuse a short field and give them some room to, to punt this thing out you got to know when enough is enough sometimes and this isn't the drive that uh, it's going to happen on the only thing that was going to bail out Stanford there was a penalty that gave gave him a first an automatic first down here is Pena signals for a fair catch it makes it inside the 30. 4.51 to go, first half, and we've seen a lot of laundry on the field. Start, offense number 77, five-yard penalty, it's still first down. This is a big fella, really likes Savion Washington. Like this film, and excellent run blocker. He's 6'8", 340 pounds, and looks like he weighs about 240. And he plays with light feet, Good hands. Really like him as a player. Syracuse, 16 plays in this game so far. Seven of them have been for a loss or no gain. And four penalties. 
play action. McCord wants Pena reaching and he hauls it in. It's been a bounce back season for Pena early on. He only played one game with a linebacker and he can't stay with Pena. And now Tempo. High snap. Willis bulldozes his way inside the 40. Train is what they nicknamed him. Now you could see high school. Yes, indeed. He said when he got here, he was trying to make guys miss. And then all of a sudden, you know, they talked to him a little bit and said, hey, quit trying to make guys miss and do what, do what you were doing to get yourself here. Then he started trucking guys in practice. They'll try to do it again. Hammerheads for a yard. Third down and short could be four down territory. Kark? Yeah, they need more of train. And when I spoke to Kyle McCord this week, he said it was critical that they match Stanford's physicality. Heading into this drive, Syracuse had minus four yards rushing. Getting the freshman and LaQuint Allen involved is critical. But credit Stanford, too. This, this run defense is much improved from a year ago. Last year, allowing almost five yards a pop. This year, they held TCU in the opener to only three yards per rush. Physicality has long been the hallmark for Stanford. McCord sacked, deleted, back near midfield. It's the heart of Tafiti. Tabarua Tafiti, the junior from Hawaii. Some letting a cat out of the bag. I would have a few words with uh, Max Wang with Mang when we get to the sideline. Oh yeah, there's no doubt about it. And the leader that Kyle McCord is, uh, we've been told by this Syracuse program. I guarantee you, he will have a few as well. Bounces into the end zone for a touchback. Now, Fran Brown told us, and he's told everybody, when he got McCord to come from Ohio State, he said, I'm the head coach. You're my second in command. The ACC Network has a full slate of games Saturday, starting with James Madison, North Carolina, Rutgers, BC, in the red bandana game. Absolutely, Anish, and that's Wells Crowder, who's a hero in 9-11 and how he saved so many lives. And Anand Hess, who knew Wells so much, or Kevin McLean at BC, his teammates were, were huge, huge proponents of him. We got a big play here. This is Davis, and maybe a touchdown-saving tackle by Deuce Chestnut, who is now down at the 32-yard line. Now the Stanford run game accounting for 108 yards so far. Chestnut went down after the play. Deuce Chestnut was an All-American corner for Syracuse, a freshman all of players from that area. And I think he's going to continue to do so. You know, when Greg Ciano was on his run at Rutgers, it was Fran Brown who was bringing in the recruits. And it, so he's from that area. Got to believe he's going to have his share of guys that come from new safeties, Clark and Barry Buxton. Split backs again. Davis again. Lost the football at the end of the play. A lot of blue jerseys around that pile in each. They're going to call. I think they may have ruled him down. The ruling on the field and the run over down prior to the ball becoming loose. This is the. Man, what are we going to see from Tennessee tomorrow when they take on Oklahoma? And we're mulling it over. Who is the best freshman so far in the country? Offensive player or defensive player? Joey Galloway, Dan Mullen, join me soon. The previous play is under further review. I don't understand that because you had the two-minute timeout. You had all this time. Yeah, you and now you made the announcement. Yeah. We had the entire commercial break to do this. Could have been reviewed and we would have an answer. And Brown was all over the officials during the break but again you wait until after everybody's ready there's this impetus to speed things up and get games in a tidy window yeah that doesn't help second and six Stanford Irvin and Ford the split backs with Daniels it was 10 of 16 87 yards passing this is 33 a, rushing this is a look that you see Syracuse run on video it's like quarterback power Daniels bounces to the outside multiple flags down near the line of scrimmage 
Another holding call. It's going to bring it back. You'd like to say it's the young players on the offensive line, but holding offense number 76. 10 yard penalty. Repeat second down. That's it. Before uh, you get a permanent seat for the night on the bench because you're just hurting the team. Layer started at left tackle week one, moved to left guard week two. The delay, here's Davis. He's had a few good runs. Back near the original line of scrimmage. Jobity the tackle. It's third down. Charge timeout. Syracuse, their first of the half. It will be 30 seconds. Syracuse stops the clock here on third down. Kark. Anish and Andre, not good news for Syracuse in the defensive backfield. Their star freshman, Marcellus Barnes Jr., is an Under Armour All-American, a big year one of his recruiting cycle. He's in street clothes, so he will not return to this game. And Andre, you pointed out, too, they've been picking on his replacements a little bit in this one. Yeah, they have. When uh, Bellamy came in the game, they went right at him. But Devin Grant has really stepped up and kind of solidified things in the secondary, especially at that corner spot. Clarence Lewis has, has played some solid football in the, in the uh, first half of this one. And we have not called Alec Iomander's name in some time. Yeah. And it's because of the play of those, those two gentlemen I just named, Grant and Lewis. Iomander lined up at the top of your screen. CC goes that way. Daniels fakes the screen. Deep drop. Jobity chases him, throws it up. Manor makes the catch, but he's out of bounds. Fourth down, and the kicking team will come on. Emmett Kenny will try for another field goal. Yeah, right at the tail end of that comment you were making, <laughs> Daniels is looking for Iowa Manor. I mean, he is trying to find him. He makes the grab, but he's out of bounds. Just trying to throw it up to let him uh, give him an, att an attempt at. Longest career attempt for Kenny. First year as the starting place kicker. 51 yarder. And he puts it through. Kenny is two for two. 13 to three. Stanford on top of Syracuse. Now a quick word from Verbo. As your host. <laughs> That's pretty good. Ishraf, Andre Ware, Paul Carcaterra, Friday night at the JMA Wireless Dome. Huge field goal there for Stanford because it makes it a two-score game. And you're on the road, young football team. You're trying to build if you're Troy Taylor. And you want to give them every ounce of confidence that you can going into that locker room at halftime. Big possession here coming up for Syracuse. They get the ball first to begin the third quarter, but have two timeouts. This could totally change. No chance here for Malachi James of note. NFL Sunday comes your way at 10 8 across the league, way up. Yeah. It takes a little while for the timing of the passing game to kind of get itself going. So what do you do? You start relying and allow, allowing O lineman to just tee off. McCord under pressure, sacked again. Ball looked to come out, but they say he is down. David Bailey again getting the on the field as the runner was down prior to the ball becoming loose. Second down. Four sacks by this. Unable to hold up against the likes of David Bailey, the pass rush extraordinaire. McCord rolling out. Finds Pena, and he's shy of the 35-yard line, close to the marker. It's going to bring up third and two. Syracuse going quickly. They still have two timeouts in the pocket. You don't want to take one instead of letting this clock run like this. Again, the court flush to his right. Job of improvising by Kyle McCord, and he saw him. He 
you saw Hatcher kind of breaking open because Zyron Manley fell down in coverage. Job on the back end or by the quarterback and keeping his eye away, but a nice job by Syracuse scoring quickly. And that was with less than a minute, third down. Cal McCord going this passing game, and then all of a sudden, LaQuint Allen gets going. Pena has been big. That catch he made was huge for Syracuse. Three catches, 59 yards for Trevor Pena. That was Hatcher's first catch of the game, first touchdown of the season. Stanford will take it at the 25. Experienced wide receiver, Richard Jr. He started 11 of 13 games last year and is off to one heck of a start this season. How does Troy Taylor now play out this series with the three timeouts? You try to get a field goal. If I'm Troy Taylor, I'm trying to work the ball down the field, get a field goal here. And off to Davis. Oftentimes that first play, usually a run, dictates how you call the drive. And they want the timeout. And that's that's the drive starter, so to speak. You're trying to see Start if you can out. break a draw Stanford. play. Their first of the half. They're they hoping Davis is okay. He's a little slow to get up. But boy, has he been a playmaker and an element of speed for this Stanford offense. Six carries, 73 yards. Please set the game clock to 21 seconds. <laughs> That's more than he had coming in. Clock, he had six carries for 53 yards entering the game. New career high. Young Thank career you. for the freshman. Calls everything. Stanford would like to stay in the 52, 54 yard field goal range for Kenny. Inside the 40 for a realistic chance. We are indoors. No elements. Daniels improvising. And runs out of bounds. That'll stop the clock. 13 seconds left in the half. Make it a dozen. And two timeouts left for Stanford. I don't know that Syracuse can just play soft here. It's a little bit of time and... You know, a play down the middle with two timeouts left will give them what they want in terms of a, a field goal attempt. So you got to make sure that you stay buttoned up defensively and you don't get too soft where there's a catch, a run, and they can get down and maybe a second or two to, to get a field goal off. Need about 22 yards or so to give Kenny a realistic chance. And Tries at the snap. Tries timeout. Syracuse. Their second of the half. Yeah, I think Fran It'll Brown wants seconds. to visit about that exact thing is to make sure that you don't allow somebody free in the secondary and then, you know, a catch and run and get down and call a timeout. Let's get to the halftime down 13 10. First meeting between Syracuse and Stanford. First ACC game for Stanford after more than a century in the Pac-12. And if you're if you're Stanford, you don't want to try to force one into coverage and you mess around and throw a pick six here. So it's a uh, little bit of care on the side of both both teams. Alec Io Manor, Stanford's thousand-yard receiver from a year ago, lined up at the top of your screen. CC the motion man. Daniels checks down. It's CC bumped out of bounds, shy of the 45 by Justin Barron. Well, they try to go, give a double move on Clarence Lewis, a pump and go, and uh, he didn't bite on it. He stayed with Iowa Manor, nowhere for da Daniels to go, other than to check it down. Ford does a nice job of getting out of bounds, and about time for one more play, unless it's a Something quick to the sidelines and stepping out of bounds, and I don't know that that's going to do you any good. Or if it can really be executed in five seconds. Screen pass, Iowa Manor, and 
that brings us to the end of the first half.